Hello, my name is Orange. This shrimp is good today. Look at this shrimp head, and this green one on the back of the shrimp is all high. After rubbing the essential oil salt, it is well opened. The boss says it's natural. I won't watch. I don't know if I was fooled. I'm braising a pot of chicken feet that I haven't eaten for a long time. Fried potatoes for the kids. This fat sausage was bought yesterday. This won't taste good if it's frozen. So I made it for him today. Sprinkle some salt after the oil is hot in the pan. Pour the loach in. This will prevent it from sticking to the pan. Golden yellow. Put milk glue and fry it. Then add an appropriate amount of boiling water. Cook the soup over high heat until it is milky white, then you can transfer it to the saucepan. Soak this corn till hours in advance. Otherwise, it will be difficult to cook soft. A little more carrots and whey shan. Cook for about half an hour. Then blanch the chicken feet in cold water and put ginger slices and scallions in a pot. Pepper rice wine and salt to increase the bottom taste. Cinnamon fragrant leaf star anise. Cook for 15 minutes, then fish it out and wash it. Minced garlic, millet and pepper should be cut more. It's pickled peppers and a little minced ginger. After the oil is hot, pour it in. Another spoonful of oily chili powder to fry it until fragrant. The right amount of light soy sauce. Oyster sauce salt. Sugar and chicken powder seasoning. When cooking chicken feet, put a spoonful of salt water. You can put a little less salt when seasoning first. Then pour in the freshly cooked chicken feet. Stir fry for two minutes and then add a little onion. Coriander and scallions. Fry evenly and you can bring it out of the pot. It smells so good. These chicken feet are delicious whether fried like this or cold salad. The weather is nice today. Recently, I said that after gnawing on my paws, I went for a walk in the park. Take some beautiful pictures. After the water in the pot boils, put a spoonful of salt in it. Pour in the cut potato chunks and cook them until they are medium, rare before you can fish them out. Control the moisture. Put more cornmeal in and mix well. This way its shell will taste crispy and crunchy and taste better. When the oil in the pan is so hot that small bubbles will appear when you put the chopsticks in, you can put the potato pieces in. Can be fried several times. It's more fuel efficient. Fry it out. After it's all fried, you can fry it again. It will taste crispier. It's good to sprinkle a little salt and pepper, or dip it in some ketchup. The shrimp is straight clean. Nothing in the pot. Put the shrimp in, pepper, and cook on medium-low heat for 6 minutes. Open the lid and collect the moisture inside, and it can be out of the pot. I think fresh seafood is really easy. It's delicious to cook it casually. And the soup here is almost there. Just add some salt to taste. Just put a few more wolfberry in to match the color. These people took a bite and said that the boss must not have fooled me into raising loach make such a delicious soup it smells so good try this soup inside
really delicious. When it's all done, you can have dinner.